second most popular thing people look for on the internet? Well, it's genealogy, and that, of course, is looking for your ancestors. The number of internet users looking for their ancestors is growing faster than any other group. Well, the craze has been fueled by TV programmes, the release of online records, the recent census, the 100th anniversary of the First World War. And, of course, by just natural curiosity. Jonathan Marlin now reports on one family from Gosport who came up with a few surprises. Little Sophia Dunbar couldn't help noticing, when she was old enough to notice, that she was very fair and her mother Emma was, well, a lot darker. I've been mistaken before for, for a nanny or something, <laughs> and I've gone to collect her from school. So together they set off on a journey into history that threw up several surprises, with links to Ireland, Romany Gypsies, and a great-great-grandfather William, who came by boat to Britain from Barbados. We looked at the um, ship's log, and we realised that one of the reasons he came over here was, um, he wanted a good education, but um, I was shocked to see that he'd only um, signed with an X on the ship's log. I know that he couldn't read the light, but it was quite surprising. Experts say piecing together family trees is renewing interest in history as people picture their ancestors through the ages, and it helps those from diverse backgrounds know who they are. In order to understand yourself, it's really nice to know the roots from which you're grown. It's good for Sophia to know about her, um, her heritage and there's a likelihood that her child could be really dark. I feel very proud of myself. Proud that I have that heritage in me. And it's helping religious and racial tolerance. Everybody is still a person. You don't need, it doesn't matter just what kind of, just matters the person that you are. Sophia's inherited her father's Scottish genes. Her mother's looks reflect their mixed heritage. They're both good looking, but of course, no one's ever completely happy with themselves. I know, I've, I've always wanted blonde hair, blue eyes, and Sophia would love to have dark hair and dark eyes. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> Sophia, you're gorgeous. She is, she is gorgeous. So are you, Emma. That mm. report by Jonathan Margaret. Now, finally, staff to village shop in the New Forest had a surprise visit to an arrival.